All right, YouTube. I have a 2009 Chevy Silverado, half ton, 5.3 liter. Um, been having electrical issues pretty much all winter. Started with my airbag system that's still not working. Uh, last night I put two new airbag sensors in as that um, was the code that initially came up on the scanner. Um, then what happened is I uh, something else is shorted out. I don't know either with the module itself um, if I put a fuse back into the airbag system it will completely drain my truck um, of its battery um, even with the key out of the truck my engine light will stay on um, so that's the first issue um, next in the past two days um, about every other time I start up my truck I'll have my tire monitoring system come on and telling me I have a problem, like it's not reading uh, the back tires or the front tires, as you can see. Um, also, my stereo isn't working. And even if it does work, um, my XM loses signal. And also, in the same breath, if I put my blinkers on, the blinkers work. But as you can hear, there's no... Usually it has a little sound that it's blinking. Um, I did confirm that all the blinkers are working on the exterior of the truck. Um, so then if I turn off the truck, as I did here. And let's see if it... Uh, yeah, see now this time it's going to blink and then after it blinks a while it'll go to steady. But um, sometimes it doesn't come on, come on at all, and it's just normal. Same with the stereo. Sometimes that'll come on and as if nothing happens. So any recommendations, that would be great. I'm probably going to bring it to the Chevy dealer today. All right, so here we are again. Um, I'm going to make another video and include it with the first one. Hopefully do a final one if it ever gets fixed. Um... As I kept driving my truck and I explained the problem before, um, you know, now you can see I got a bunch more lights on. None of my gauges are working. Uh, stereo doesn't work. Pretty much everything's uh, back and forth and works when it wants to. Um, I'm going to turn off my truck and I'll start it back up and just see what it does here. All right, so I turned it off. Let it sit for a second. All right, now I'll fire it back up and see if... I'll see what happens here. Yeah, pretty much... Uh, same thing. So I don't know. It's going to go to the Chevy dealer on Tuesday, so... Um, once we do that, I'll make part three of this video and, uh, we'll go from there. All right, YouTube. Well, I got my truck back from the Chevy dealer today and what it turned out to be, um, causing all my issues with my gauges, my truck not starting, my radio not working, um, listing every problem on my dashboard, uh, came out to be that it was a SDM, um, airbag module, which is located under the driver's seat. And it's actually under the carpet. And basically it um, was just corroded. And it was sending uh, back feed to the rest of the truck. Giving me all those uh, issues. I guess, uh, not sure exactly why they would put it under the driver's seat, under the carpet. Um, if it, uh, you know, was a piece that can be corroded and get damaged by water. Uh, especially where I live, we get about 300 inches of snow a year. And so my carpet's usually... Uh, you know pretty snowy pretty wet in the spring and, and uh, fall and stuff so so anyways that's the deal um chevy cost well they charged me it was about 700 bucks by the time it was said and done but uh i guess i'm okay with that this is the first time that i haven't had airbag lights or any kind of lights on so it, it's kind of nice having peace of mind and um knowing that it's going to last for at least another five minutes before the next problem. So, all right, take care.